this nigerian woman is sending a message to the south africans that live in nigeria and i know that people think that we don't have south africans living in nigeria but i mean they have they have businesses in nigeria and you keep saying the south africans say oh let's you know the zimbabwe's and nigerians that have businesses there take their business back to nigeria or take their business back to zimbabwe and the likes come on come on what kind of petty and the myopic mindset is that you want them to pack their businesses and everything and leave south africa why when they are living there legally they are not illegal are you guys now fighting the legal migrants immigrants or are you guys fighting against the illegal if you're fighting against the illegal please keep fighting and leave the legal migrant i mean it's not like you even saying anything is going to change it but i mean still the lulu ones can decide to go and start hurting and attacking you know other african nationals in south africa which i think that is crazy if they do that but this woman right here has a message for the south africans that are living in nigeria south africans living in nigeria i hope you are enjoying your stay i'm not going to say to you what are you doing in my country no i'm living in someone's country and i'm not going to say to you why are you married to a nigerian man that's stupid i'm married to a, to a european man an irish man so what i'm trying to make what my what i'm trying to insinuate is that you are living in nigeria right you are having peace you're having vibe you see how friendly those people are you see how they are treating you nicely did you encounter xenophobia no an average nigerian person is friendly you get me an average nigerian person is happy with their life the only people that will cry why are you living in their country are those that have failed that are not successful for themselves they begin to blame foreigners that foreigners are the one coming to collect from them i'm glad you are enjoying your stay and i heard a lot of you have moved there you're having fun you're happy with your family you're walking i even heard a, a, a girl went to nigeria to do stripping job that's gas like south africa our very own wandi Jovu has relocated to nigeria where she is going to further her studies in stripping um a close source is saying wandi received an offer that she could not refuse hence that's why she moved to nigeria and they had promised that they are going to pay her using us dollars so yeah it is what it is nigerians are going to vandalize her they are going to photosynthesize her so yeah it is what it is it's her body at the end of the day it's her decision she is grown up but what we know at the moment is that she has relocated to nigeria uh to start stripping yeah but anyway that's not the reason for this video the reason for this video is um uh, i want you to keep doing videos on how you are enjoying your stay and how your in-laws are treating you you see the way nigerians are treating you nicely that is what we get for instance married to a foreign person does not make you a stranger in the land the the the, the government recognizes you and you get the same benefits with who you are married to you get me so that's how to treat somebody and uh, you see not everybody is kind of you know too civilized or you know a lot of people are so myopic in their thinking and everything right i want you to keep doing videos hmm? show them how you are enjoying how you are having fun in nigeria show them how happy you are and teach those people back home hmm? on how to treat people how to live a civilized world i understand many of them out there you know when you are lazy you begin to cry oh they are coming to take this 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 i've never been to south africa i've never gone to any africa country i don't literally i don't the only place i want to even go to is mauritius because of the holiday site i just want to say things i haven't even been there it's in my bucket list of the countries to travel to but i haven't finished tory around the you know the developed world then before I start thinking of the list of where to go to, just teach them how to behave well. And uh, you are married to Nigeria, you are enjoying your marriage, right? Mm, that's good. Keep enjoying it and enjoy Nigeria. But just teach your people. Feel more guilt. If you don't do it, you're going to feel guilty. If you don't, you know, 
come out and say on social media how you are enjoying your stay nobody's pursuing you nigerians are not miserable we are not miserable people we are happy people we you know carry people along hmm? we teach people good things because I heard some of you crying drugs, 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 drugs in your country. Why is that it's only South Africans that are crying that Nigerians are doing drugs? This is a country I'm living in. I'm expecting like two Nigerians who come to visit me today. I'm not working today. We don't hear drugs. There are a lot of Nigerians here. We don't hear drugs. Why is it that it's only in South Africa we hear that? Obviously, it's what people do that people think other people do. What they cry here is, oh, foreigners are coming to collect our benefits. Foreigners are coming to collect our benefit because they are lazy. It's the lazy ones that will cry that you are collecting benefits. How much is it? 200 euros. That if I want to go to shopping today, it's not even enough for me to buy full stop to stock this freezer here or to stock my fridge. <laughs> you see, most of the people always crying that people are coming to collect from them are lazy people. Are lazy people. When you see, they put their misfortune on other people get up get your ass up go to work that's the that's the only logic to make it not going oh this person is taking my stuff this person is coming here to say this can people just grow up at least before the world ends can people just grow up mentally and psychologically grow the brain up educate the brain i hope you enjoy your stay i don't even if i'm fighting south africa i'm not fighting the ones married to nigeria enjoy your marriage if you are with a man respect that's what nigeria may want respect them don't keep you they'll wife you for long that's just it and that's all i have to say i don't have a problem with you living in nigeria i don't have a problem with you staying in nigeria but all i will have a problem with if you don't educate the ones back home so tell them how you're having fun that you don't meet xenophobic you, there's no xenophobic attitude where you live then i don't have a problem with you I welcome you with my full arms and tell you, listen, I like you. That's all. Peace out. They condemn Nigerians so much and Nigerians and, you know, they are beautiful people are coming to Nigeria, thriving and living in Nigeria. As you can see in this video, this is a girl called Wandi and she is in Nigeria. Yes, this is Nigeria. She's thriving and enjoying her life. According to what they said, they said she came to strip. I'm not sure about that. So I'm not even going to, you know, but people are even saying it, that she came to Nigeria to strip. But you can see the life that the girl is living in Nigeria. This is Nigeria too. Just the way South Africa has beautiful places. That's how we have lovely places in this same Nigeria. Mm, this is the same Wandi. Mm, that is in Nigeria. Enjoying Nigeria and thriving in Nigeria. And stripping. <laughs> That's what they said. I don't know. It can't be confirmed. But see her now. She's confirmed. Salty girl. So, make could not stop them already.